All right, so we're checking out the only game that can accurately represent Florida by having all of civilization get destroyed by 1,000 mile an hour hurricanes. It's City Smash. City Smash is a game that originally had you torturing people with a lot of different things. Guess what? They added even more things. There's also two new cities to destroy. This is one of them. You can see in the background, either this building has some unique architecture or it started to fall apart just knowing what's going to happen. It's like it lost its will to continue to stay in one piece. So all of these new insanities, of course, interact with everything else this game has to offer and one of the things that it has is yes a freaking hurricane not like a normal hurricane but the type of hurricane that vaporizes towers it also has this magnet which i'm really not sure what the hell has anything to do with anything else i feel like we took a step back when we went from cthulhu to dollar tree godzilla to the magnet either way we're gonna see how all these different things combine to completely ruin civilization in horrifying ways. Since these are new, I guarantee I can crash this game. First though, let us find out exactly what the sad magnet does. Holy sh The sad magnet does a lot more than I thought it, it would. I love how the tankers just drive right off to their death. This guy, he's like, I can't stand it anymore. Ah! I also love how all the vehicles are just filled with high explosives. Seriously, that was some Rambo Commando level Arnold Schwarzenegger shoot the car and it explodes in a fireball level death explosions. Hold on, let me just, uh... Let me just clean up the rest of this real quick. So here we have a bridge in water. Hold on, let me just remove a small part of the bridge. Yeet. Oh, the water legitimately works too. Okay, now will everything blow up after it's at the bottom of the ocean here? I kind of want to get everything to get crap. Some asshole had to ruin my fun. Here goes like a school bus. I got good news, everyone. School's out. Not because of any kind of pandemic, but because the entire faculty is now dead. I guess I should probably hose these last few buildings. There we go. This brings me to a question. Can you magnetize the comet? Let me go ahead and just get this set up. Now you have to be really fast here in order to do this. This. You cannot. Can you magnetize the bombs? That's a negative. So it appears like the buildings are the only things that are magnetizable. Just want to try something real quick. Can you take part of a building and beat another building to death with it? Survey says yes, you can. And the cars do the rest for you. This guy's like, Toyota, yeet! Way to go, everyone. Somehow you failed in taking down the biggest tower. Here, let me help you. Did the nighttime town have strip club signs before? I feel like it didn't. Anyway, let us find out exactly what this maelstrom of pain is. Ready, set, go. Absolutely nothing happened. Am I waiting for hell spawn to pour out of this thing? Can you have more than one? What the piss? Oh, it moves everything from one portal to the other portal and from this portal to that portal. Okay, this we could have some fun with. Hold on. Okay, I'm just back in the classic city over here. Real quick though, I want to see if you take your portal and you put way up here and you put the other portal. Yep, you can vomit the city out upon itself. So, wait, can anything go through the portal? Okay, so portal down here, portal up here. Okay, good. Okay, so now it's not destroying anything. So, if you take the bomber and you drop the bombs, Yep, <laughs> they teleport from one portal to the other. And now everything is going to fall through this portal for all time. Oh, it just gains more and more speed forever too. You can stop it with the magnet though. So what happens if I fire a comet through the one portal? 
Okay, it just blows up down there. How about if I shoot the comet this way? <laughs> oh, this is great. By using the portal and using the black hole, you can vomit half of the city and destroy the other half with the vomited pieces. Okay, so what happens if you put both portals directly on top of one another? Amazing stuff happens. That's what happens. Okay, we're gonna put down the black hole. Then we're gonna put a portal on a portal that's on the black hole. Okay, black hole, portal, portal. I think it just vaporized everything that it took into the black hole. Okay, that's probably my new favorite. Moving on, we have just a bunch of bombs. All right, bombs, show me why you're awesome. Oh, they split into pieces. And you can drop a whole bunch of... <laughs> Y'all know what has to happen. Hold on here. Everyone get some cluster bombs for Christmas. All the good little girls and boys. Okay, how about with the tornado? Can you throw the cluster bombs around? I feel like you can because I have no idea where the hell they are. Oh my god, they're getting thrown everywhere. It's turned the... It's turned the tornado into a firestorm. And once the tornado ends, all of the bombs hit the ground. Okay, the tornado and the cluster bomb may be my favorite combination as of right now. I'm gonna go ahead and guess this is a no. But can you portal Cthulhu down closer to the base of the planet? So put this down here, put this up here, summon Cthulhu. <laughs> I'm throwing the cars from the ground at the top of the buildings. I didn't think about that. <laughs> They're like little bombs. This is what you get for your terrible gas mileage, you insensitive bastards. All right, anyway, let me go ahead and get Cthulhu running in here. Uh, no, I really hoped that the tentacles would go through the portal and end up in the bottom portal, but it's just a shrapnel. How about Godzilla over here? Maybe we can kill him by the railgun like stuff that's flying from one portal to the other. Apparently not. So what I decided to do was start clicking wildly with the portals because what happens is all of the pieces try and teleport from where the portal used to be to where the portal is now. And the destruction is so violent that... <laughs> you just heard the sound effect, but the game can't keep up. So effectively the game is crashing. <laughs> ah, portal, I knew you'd be everything I hoped you would. I still have to use whatever this is over here. It just looks like a freaking bottle rocket. Oh, never mind. It's a firework from hell. What the hell are they filling these fireworks with? Disappointment? I don't think fireworks do that. Jesus. I don't know if you saw, but the reload on the fireworks is really fast. Let me go ahead and light up the midnight sky. Oh, yeah. Everyone should really be enjoying the 4th of July this year. All right, whoever's left standing, you can have your independence. Okay, what happens if I just hit the tip of the bridge? Just the tip. Oh, the bridge doesn't take any damage. Never mind, the bridge takes a ton of damage. Oh, damn! The wire has weight in this game. Oh, what the hell happened there? Part of the bridge got flung into the stratosphere. Clearly, I wasn't taking this board seriously enough. All right, again, just, you know, one, one quick firework. Nothing big. All right, did a little bit of damage there, but one more. See, all the wires fall, and the wires just exist only to murder everything they touch. Everyone over here is like, ah, oh, it's Final Destination over and over again, no. Hold on, I can actually save these guys. Put that there. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> With the fact that all of these suspension cables go absolutely crazy, Hold on, I need to see how the portal reacts to the- I was gonna say how the portal reacts to it, and the answer is- <laughs> What the hell happened over here? Violently. It's like that one building was like, ah, oh, me too, and <laughs> exploded. I just want to shear off the top of the bridge. Okay, I guess that kind of ruined the support for the rest of the bridge. What happens if you have water with just more water? 
I feel like they increased the power of the tidal wave tsunami thing. Real quick, this is the does the tsunami still suck test take one. Survey says, tsunami no longer sucks. Ah, uh, yes, nothing better than watching all of the towers go limp. All right, well, it's about time. We're back in Florida, and our final option is what I understand to be the hurricane. Here, it just looks like someone sneezing loudly. This is probably isn't the best indicator for hurricane. All right, let's see how hurricane-y it is. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, it's, um... It's a pretty good hurricane. Now I'm really curious if you can put wind on top of wind. Like what happens if I take the tornado and add the hurricane alongside of it? Tornado with the hurricane. Now things are getting real. Oh hell yes. That's like a match made in heaven. Or hell, I guess. Okay, I need to combine a lot of things here. What I wanna do, we're gonna have to, this is gonna be quick. We're gonna put one piece of portal down. We're gonna fire a nuke. We're gonna put the other portal down on top of where the nuke is going to land. And then we're gonna add the hurricane. Okay. Nuke. Oh, sh I missed. Okay, portal, nuke. Okay, maybe we'll do the portal first. Here we go. Drop the nuke into it. Add the hurricane. Ooh. I think at that point, it's just overkill. I decided... Oh my god! It's incredible! I decided to use the earthquake and it actually spit up all of the earth that got earthquaked onto the rest of the city. I feel like if I don't try and mix the tsunami with the hurricane, I'm not doing it right. So just had to make sure it happened at least once. One of the other things that you can teleport is the chunks from the volcano. <laughs> so the, the big pieces of lava are just like slowly falling down to the ground at like one mile an hour. Something I hadn't thought of too is that you can use the magnet eh, to feed the portal. There we go. Suddenly the magnet is a thousand times better. There we go, come on, there's that one building left. Come on, throw it out over there. Have explosive diarrhea all over those that are still left alive. There we go. Finally, took a hell of an effort. <laughs> well, the question was, are these updates amazing? And yes, they were. I can only hope that they keep adding new weapons so that we can continue to end all life on the planet. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of City Smash. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.